Hi everyone, welcome back to Xanima. So, last time we focused on just trying to train the stabs and thrusts with limited success, I think. <laughs> but today we're going to try overheads. So, in other words, we're going to go into the novice old school arena and use nothing but overhead attacks just to learn exactly how to aim them and how they work. Uh, and also we want to work on the timing, of course. So that's what this is going to be, and no, don't expect it to be pretty, because it will not be. In fact, it's probably going to be quite embarrassing. Whatever. Alright, so today our name is No Chance. We'll go with a new haircut. Alright, so... I guess the first weapon, yeah, I guess we'll just use the two-handed sword. That might be the simplest weapon to start with, maybe. Alright, so it's always good to try and start fights with an overhead, so I'm used to that. But it's just using overheads in basically any other situation I am not really familiar with. We actually landed one there. Oh, hey. Landed another. Ooh. Okay, right now I'm just kind of getting a feel for the timing. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Didn't mean to slash at him. Another thing that uh, we can try is crouching in the middle of our attack to gain more strength. But obviously that makes it even more difficult. Alright, there we go. Alright, not, not too bad. Um, part of me wants to try another weapon already, but we'll hold on to this for now. Here we go, he somehow ended up chopping his knee with an overhead, but I'll take it. Anything that sheds blood. Hey, alright. Alright, so right now I'm just figuring out the timing, basically. And I think I've got it. So I basically double-click to start the attack, and then I think move forward, in general. Whoops. I, again, I did not mean to do that. There we go. Ow. And yeah, obviously once someone gets inside my guard right here, like it's not a good idea to be using overheads, and I wouldn't be doing that in a regular fight. But today we're just using overheads to see what we can do, to see what's possible. Alright, let's try the... Crash. Oh, there we go. Oh. And there it was again. That was very nice. So again, that's... You kind of have to wait a second. So you attack, and then you have to crouch like as the sword is coming down. Like that. But see, the crouch responds very quickly. So if you do it too soon, it doesn't really add strength to the attack. So it has to be timed just like that. Alright. Yeah. At least we managed to duck under that attack. Let's circle away from the wall here, might be a good idea. Okay, let's try this. Ooh, there we go. And let's try the crouch. And again, that's just to add force to our strike so that we can kill in less in less attacks. There we go. One of the things I do enjoy about the overhead, I guess, when I think about it is well, usually, I mean, it's pretty easy to hit people in the head as opposed to, like, the slashes or whatever, which I usually never hit people in the head. This kind of makes it easier because it's kind of like, well, where else... Where else is the, the blow going to land, if not on their head? So, I like that. Oh, 
Oh my goodness gracious. Oh man, just missed. Oh shit. There we go. And you'll notice we did do the crouch there. Whoops. Just practicing for when we have a downed opponent later. Or if we do. Now that's weird. Why would it strike me there? Oh well. Alright. See, <laughs> that's really cool though, the, the added benefit of, well, it didn't happen that time. We usually duck right under the, the attack, that's kind of cool. Nope, yeah, it definitely didn't work that time. Alright, let's try this again, but with a different weapon maybe. I really wanted that dude's sword, the one that killed me, but that's not going to happen. Alright, so we did the two-handed sword. Let's move over to a one-handed sword now. Oh, didn't mean to do that. I was going to try my damn crouch there. There we are. Okay, so... Shit. So I want to work a little bit on turning left to right as I'm striking with the overhead to see if we can still hit someone if we miss. Yeah, so I moved, whoops, I moved to the right during that last attack there. And I went from not hitting him to hitting him and it did the damage, so you can salvage your aim even as you're like delivering the overhead blow, so that's good to know. And another thing about the overhead is it it should work just as effectively in really close quarters. But I'm having trouble making that happen in those close quarters. Alright. Oh, just did absolutely nothing to move out of the way of that. That was really stupid. All I do is hit a shield every time, every time. So we need to... Hmm. We got lucky there. I'm trying to think, what would be the best way to use this overhead against the shield? I guess maybe rotating to my left to try and get around it. Like that, maybe? I don't know. Okay, I don't even know how we pulled that off. <laughs> I really want to try using a using that mace, to be perfectly honest, all of a sudden. Just let's see what we can do with that. I'm trying to test the speed. Whoops, I didn't even mean to do that. I'm trying to test the speed. It's a little slower. Okay. This is fairly, it's like a split second slower than that sword. And it's throwing, oh my good lord, alright. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Yeah, let's do that again. Let's do that. Oh, this feels good. Let's just keep doing this. I enjoy this a lot. Alright, there we go. As always, or as you can see, I mean, oh. See the wow! You could really see the impact there that time because I did the crouch thing. 
mean, you could tell that was a powerful, painful blow. <laughs> Still need to work on my defensive maneuvers and my my footwork as I'm doing this. But again, right now I'm just really trying hard to figure out the timing and such. Nice. Ducked under the. <laughs> so awesome ducking under those. Ah, shit. When it works, it's so awesome, but... Oh, I didn't... I, I'm sorry, I did not mean to do that. I forgot to click a second time. Yes! Alright. Like I said, I really wanted this quick sword, so we'll put it here in our secondary and try this in the next fight. Oh, I hate this chick. She kicks my ass every time. Oh, very nice. Oh, hell. Okay, well, that... That didn't go so well, <laughs> but at least we got that sword. That's kind of cool. Alright, let's go for a little more here. Okay, so we have this sword, but I'd also like to... Damn it, I'd also kind of like to try one of these other ones, but if I put this sword away, we're not going to have it at all in this run. And that's that's disappointing. I don't care. We need to... Let's try... This makes perfect sense, actually, for the overhead, so let's try this. Two-handed axe. Generally fairly slow. Yeah, it's real slow. But if we can... We can land that. There we go. With a little extra force from the crouch. And again. Yeah, so you definitely want to, especially with this, this weapon, start the overhead, then move forward. So, click, click. You can see the, the time required there. Oh, that's not... Damn it, I forgot to click the second time. Odin, you're cheating! Oh, there you go. Fuck your ankle. Oh, that attack got through after it was kind of parried. That's awesome. Oh. Come on. There we go. Oh, beautiful. That's not working. That's not working. <laughs> Shit. Oh, man. Oh, hell. Oh, shit. I got what I deserved there. All right. That's what I get for laughing at the guy. All right. One more time. One more time. Let's try the bill hook this time. A little more quick of a weapon than... Uh, the two-handed axe. Unnecessary duck there. Oh my lord, there we go. Now, this is slightly more... Well, I mean, it's kind of like the two-handed axe, because you really have to land with the blade. It doesn't do much good if you hit him with the handle or whatever. Alright. Need to try to... There we go. Aim a little closer to the head. My aim's getting a little wild. I'm just trying to hit their body anywhere at this point. Oh, shit. There we go. Yeah. 
I don't know, you'd think the bill hook would be a natural choice for the overheads, but I'm not really feeling it so much. Let's try this hook, just for the hell of it. I never ever use this damn hook. Let's just try it. Oh my hell. Maybe this is why we never use the hook. Oh hell, come on. Yeah, this weapon. It's a dangerous weapon when I go up against someone with it, but I... It's in my hands, it's about as deadly as a pasta noodle. I should be trying to take advantage of the extra long range. Not, oh shit, try not to get in too close. Alright, alright, one more time. Just cause I shouldn't have picked that hook up. That hook is stupid. Alright, so this time we're gonna go with... One more time we're gonna use the shield, but we'll use this blunt mace instead of the sword. Just to kind of complete our survey of... Oh! Of different... Oh! Shit! Alright, that'll work. I was gonna say complete our survey of different weapons. Uh-oh, getting up against the wall here. Obviously range is the problem right now. Shit. Well, range and time. Timing. There it is. Oh, come on, that should've been it. Let's get a little further back. Damn it. Yeah, this mace is... I guess, well, not surprisingly, but it's it's pretty slow. There we go. All right, just have to adjust. There we go. I'm stepping forward a little too quickly after I start the swing. There it is. Oh shit. I, oh, uh, I never. Re oh my Jesus Christ! I never uh, respond fast enough when they fall to the ground. Get the hell out of here, bastard! I'm switching back to that mace because this dude reminds me that it's awesome. Yeah, for the overheads, it's kind of hard to beat this spiked mace. Shit. I have to step back because this dude keeps getting too damn close, which is weird because he has a sledgehammer. Oh shit. See, when I switch from that other mace back to this one, the timing is just slightly different. It's kind of thrown me off here. Yeah. Okay, that was embarrassing. There we go. Uh, I suppose that it would be... We should probably practice with the sledgehammer too, but it's just going to get me killed and I want to... I want to smash someone's head. So we're going to use this, still. Come on. Damn it, too soon. Oh, hell. There we go. And when I'm doing these overheads, it really helps to have the camera directly behind me. That's why I'm using spacebar so much. Oh, I thought she was down. Oh, no. All right. All right, so actually not the worst um, experience ever practicing these overheads is actually not bad. 
Um, so anyway, I feel, I don't know, I don't want to feel too confident, but I kind of feel more confident now. Having practiced the stabs and the overheads, those are two things that I never use. Or at least I use them very rarely. So I think this is really a good idea to kind of isolate them and work on them like this. And in fact, I might do a little more before all is said and done, but we'll see. So thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Please hit the like button if you enjoy this series. And we'll see you next time for some more Xanima.